Hi YouTube, it's um, Althea, or Corvidays as my handle says, and I recently went on a trip to Seattle, Washington, and I got a chance to visit this really really cool store called The Belfry. It's a really really great store if you have the chance to visit. They have an online store as well, but they're just isn't as much stuff that they have available on it as they do for local pickup. Um, I've wanted to go since I found out about them about four months ago and it, it was really just a dream come true for me to be able to go. Um, unfortunately I didn't get to pick up everything that I wanted even though all of their stuff is really fairly priced um, for what they're selling in terms of like oddities and vintage items and specimens I just don't have that kind of money, but I did get to pick up a few items, and I really, I wanted to share those treasures with you. So, let's get started. So the bag packaging is really plain. It's just a brown paper bag um, with the monogram on the front. And then here's their business cards, if you can see. So there's www.thebelfryoddities.com with this logo here with the skull inside. And this one says The Belfry Oddities and Collectibles. And then it has their address, phone number, and website. So these are the same business card. I'm just showing you the back and the front. Exactly the same. Really plain and simple, but it gets the point across and it's really elegant in my opinion. The symmetry or the continuity of the laurels, I believe they are. So the first thing that I picked up was their t-shirt. And it has the same logo as the um, business card. So again, it's just the skull and the laurels and it says the belfry. Seattle, Washington, and then there's a little coffin with the number 13. It's a really, really comfortable t-shirt. Um, I've worn it already. I wore it the day after that I got it, just because I was so excited. This is probably one of the favorite, one of my favorite things that I got. I was going to get the tote bag, but I didn't see any in the store, and when I picked this up, I was a little bit shy. I was too nervous to ask the store keeper if they had any tote bags in stock still, so I just grabbed the, um, the t-shirt. I'm really, really happy with this purchase. Alright, so what else did I get? So he wrapped everything really nicely in this black tissue paper. And so the first thing, you can see that it's it's ripped here because I had already opened this. I was so excited when I got home to put it with my curiosity cabinet. But um, he taped it shut, and in my excitement, I ripped the tissue paper, unfortunately. But the first thing that I got was this raccoon jaw. It's super great. He had a whole bunch in a little bowl. And you could pick which one you wanted, of course. So I grabbed this one. So I picked the one that was the most complete. This one looks the most complete to me. It has all of the teeth still inside. And all of the teeth are actually super glued in. Which I don't mind. Because in a few of my other jaw pieces and skulls, um, I, I didn't super glue the teeth in. And they've become lost over time just because they're wearable items and also because I move them around a lot. There was a lot of care taken in preserving this piece and making sure that it wouldn't fall apart, which I really love. I'm really happy that it's so well put together. Um, it's fairly small, but for the price it was fair. And I love teeth, so <laughs> I'm also really happy with this purchase. I purchased two more items, which are wrapped together just because they're smaller ones. So here's the first one. This is a jar, and it has raccoon claws in it. 
There's only two of them. And they're really small and dainty. You can see them in this really small vial. Let me see if I can open it for you. So there they are. They're just two raccoon claws. And these ones I picked up just because they were so cheap and they also went with the fact that I got a raccoon jaw. So I display them together. They're really cute. And the final item that I purchased is another jarred item. This one's much bigger. This is rattlesnake ribs in a much larger jar. You can compare the two. And there was again quite a large number of these that you could pick which jar you wanted. Um, I picked these mostly because the ribs are like the the length of them is very aesthetically pleasing. There were a lot of them where there were lots of short bits that were falling down into the bottom or some of them were really long compared to the rest of them and I felt like this one had an, a very average height like all of these like they look good together compared to other ones that I saw and this one I believe you can open. I haven't tried yet yeah so you can pop it open as well but I mean, I'm not going to be adding anything to any of these items. I, I'm i really pleased with how they look on their own. I don't feel the need to add anything to them. So I'm really pleased about that as well. The final item I actually didn't buy, um, it was free, given to me by the store owner. And I don't have it with me. Um, it was an, It was a smaller jar than this. It was actually... It was almost ridiculously small, and it had one bobcat tooth inside of it. Um, he saw that my nephew, who was with me, um, was really, really enjoying it and kept going back to it. So when I told my nephew that he could grab something small, he went and grabbed the bobcat tooth. And the shopkeep said that um, my nephew could have it for free, which I thought was really, really kind of him. I mean, this is an independent business, and... I can't imagine you would survive as a business if you gave out a lot of freebies, so I was really, really pleasantly surprised by that. So here's my little mini haul, and it's it's not a lot of items, but I'm really pleased with what I got. It was my first time there, and the next time that I'm in Seattle, I definitely will be going back. They have a lot of vintage taxidermy items and a lot of vintage wall um, hangings as well. They also do... Um, succulent terrariums and carnivorous plant terrariums, which I would have loved to buy, but it just wasn't feasible considering I was driving back down to California. But you can check them out at www.thebelfryoddities.com, and they also have an Instagram and a Tumblr, which I will link down in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see my entire curiosity collection, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, guys.